Hello everyone. So <clears throat> I didn't know the best way to uh, explain what the heck happened yesterday, um, Friday. Um, and then I figured that the easiest way to just get it all out there would just be to make a really short video explaining what the heck happened and why I have these and this. Um, so here we go. Um, yesterday, um, as I you see in this video, this short clip right here. So while the guys were changing the tires, um, my dad had come back. So he and Jeff were doing it. Um, I was washing the tires we took off and I would finished one side and I just needed to get it turned around so I could do the other one. So the forklift was right there. It was just a few feet away. So I tried to, my plan was to just shimmy it a little bit and lean it over on, you know, the fork, the front of the forklift. Um, I knew better. Uh, these tires are giant. Um, they're taller than I am. I've never moved one by myself. I've never tried. I've helped. Um, so why yesterday I thought that it would be a good idea to do that, I have no idea. I do have a lot of regrets, but I can't change that now. It is what it is. So I realized that the tire was coming over on me. It was falling. I didn't try to stop it. I knew better than that. Um, but it fell faster than I could get out from under it. I think I took like one or two steps back, but it did um, fall on me and it pinned me to the ground, to the shop floor um, from about here down um, in my legs. I don't know if this makes sense. Like how little kids sit in a W with their, like on your knees, but your ankles kind of go out behind you. Um, so it pinned me to the to the floor like that. <sighs> Luckily, thankfully, my dad and Jeff were in the shop. They were right there, which honestly makes it even dumber that I tried to do it by myself because they were literally right there to help me. Um, so they ran over immediately. Like I was screaming bloody murder. Um, I've never been in that much pain in my life. It was excruciating, um, but. They tried to, they were on either side of me trying to lift it off and I got my left leg out, but they couldn't get my right leg out. So my dad had, I had to wait um, while Jeff was still trying to lift it. Um, my dad had to use the forklift to actually lift it off of me so I could get out from underneath it. And I just kind of laid there <laughs> for a couple minutes and tried to like, calm down. Obviously my adrenaline was going so, so much that like I didn't, I couldn't like assess like what, what was the issue um so i was able to stand up and i knew like here down like it was pretty good um but i also knew that um there's like there's a really good chance that my left foot was broken um so i'm actually gonna go sit down to finish the rest of this story <laughs> please hold while i while i walk in there Okay, sitting down to tell the rest of the story. Um, actually, it feels better on my knees to stand, but um, it's a pain to stand on crutches. They hurt my armpits, so, <laughs> and I can't put weight on my foot, or I'm not supposed to. So I had realized that my foot was <laughs> most likely broken. Um, I just, I knew um, it wasn't really swollen or anything, but the longer after like the adrenaline kind of wore off, um, it really hurt. hurt. It really hurt to put any weight on it. Um, so my dad was not happy because before he realized it, like I kind of snuck out to drive myself <laughs> to like 40 minutes south to get an x-ray at the urgent care, um, which he wanted to take me, but I already felt so bad um, that, you know, I had kind of ruined the day. So I just drove myself because it was my left foot. So no biggie. So I got there, waited a while, he finally got me in and x-rayed and the doctor didn't think it was broken looking at it. She was like, I think that this is just badly bruised. Um, you should be fine. We might have to like put you in like a shoe or wrap it up to make sure you don't keep hitting it or something, but you should be good. 
And then they did the x-ray and I could hear them in the middle, like the room just had a curtain on it. And they were all like, oh, oh no, oh my gosh, this is not good. And like all the nurses, the other doctor, they were all there looking at it. And I was, I had pulled the curtain back and was like watching them. So I knew that it wasn't good. Um, so to avoid emergency room fees, <laughs> I, they were so great, genuinely. Ambu Care in Terre Haute is, is just amazing. Um, it's a really good place to go. That's where we all go anyway. Um, one of the nurses looked up ortho, like urgent cares that were open um, late. So there was one in Indy, um, ortho Indy, that was open until seven. So it was 4.30 when I left Terre Haute. At that point, I knew that like, I, I couldn't drive myself to Indianapolis. Like that's a two hour drive like that. Terre Haute was one thing, but Indy and in the interstate was a different. So my mom drove me over there where I um, got in there right away. They were all so good, um, genuinely amazing. And yeah, definitely I'm gonna need surgery. I meet with the surgeon um, the beginning of next week. I didn't realize this. I thought when you had a broken bone that they did surgery right away. But um, I guess at least in this case, they said that they would want to wait probably at least a week after it happened um, to let, let it swell up and then the swelling kind of go down a little bit before they opened it up and fixed it. Um, I'll show, this is what the break looks like in my foot. Um, so not great. Um, the, yeah, obviously anyone could look at that. You do not have to be a medical professional to know that that needs surgery. So really bummed about that. Um, this accident was 100% my fault. I knew better than to try to manhandle those tires. Um, it was just one of those things where I, it was a moment where I was too stubborn and independent for my own good and I'm paying the price for that and I don't get me wrong like this is this is a little painful um but it was even worse seeing um how terrified my dad was and that I was the one that caused him to look like that um so definitely scared the crap out of my dad and Jeff um, they thought that I had completely crushed my legs and everything. Um, so really I feel very lucky that it's just my foot. Um, obviously I wish I would have been a little luckier, but all things considered, um, my foot, um, it really doesn't hurt too much. My knees hurt worse. Um, I don't think that anything is broken in them and neither did the doctor I saw at the ortho place last night. Um, probably get them checked out when I go on Tuesday again, just to be sure. Um, I think that the reason they hurt so badly is because they're so swollen and bruised. And as long as I'm moving, um, they, it doesn't hurt as bad. But if they stiffen up, man, holy cow. I'm, whew, it's a little rough. I feel like I'm 98 years old. Um, and I cannot take anti-inflammatories. That's another thing I didn't realize. They don't want me to take any anti-inflammatories before surgery. So all I have to kind of get that swelling to go down is icing them, which is not convenient. So yeah, it's, it's been a rough 24 hours. <laughs> it could have been worse though um, if I if I wouldn't have taken that step or two back, I would have been completely pinned under there. I know people have died from that before, so I am feeling very thankful. Um, and I also am feeling really terrible that I've made so much extra work. We were already, we didn't have enough people here to help this harvest anyway. And I just made the situation worse um, because I was too stubborn. So, yeah, what a way to end. It's actually National Farm Safety Week. So, yes, um, just ask for the help. Um, yeah. And that's where things are at. I feel like I, I don't, I'm not a person that usually asks for prayers, but I really hope that I get a good report from the surgeon um, next week 
and they're able to get in there and get it fixed quickly and that it, it will heal quickly um, and there's no complications down the road. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. Um, but um, definitely I've cried a lot in the past 24 hours. Not really because anything hurts, just because I've been super emotional because I, I scared the guy so much. Um, you don't really forget that. Um, and just because I was frustrated with myself because this accident was completely preventable. Um, and people have been so kind, um, other farmers in the area, like I've got one that's letting me borrow his little scooter. He's bringing it by in the morning um, when he had surgery last winter. So I can use that and don't have to use my crutches all over the shop. It'll be a little easier to get around the lot. Um, I've got another one who is letting me use his like continuous icing thing. I don't even know what it is that he used had for his surgery. And then I've had several people, older farmers call me, um, you know, just to check in and see how I'm doing and also to say, to not beat myself up too much more about it um, because they've all been there. Um, I think everyone's done something that they then re regret afterwards. So this is mine for this year. Um, but also very thankful I have really good insurance. So through Farm Bureau. Um, so that'll be really, really helpful because <laughs> I just got that this year in my insurance the past couple of years through Obamacare. I don't really think that it would have been good because it wasn't good for anything else. So I'm very thankful that if this is gonna happen, at least I'm covered. And yeah, I don't have to really worry about the financial side of things. And hopefully the rest of harvest gets a little bit better. It had been going so good. As my grandma told me last night, she was re-watching um, some of the harvest videos I'd posted so far and she was like, I just wanted to start crying because um, you just kept saying how good everything was going and then this happened. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this was a long video and really boring because it was just me talking and not actually doing anything, um, but. I do appreciate it and like I said I just wanted to just have something to ex explain what the heck happened um, so that's that.